Hey YouTubers, just wanted to show you my new setup for the Star in the Jar project and today I've got some results for you. Um, actually I've had the results for a while but uh, I was just able to get them on film. Um, so this whole skeleton that I've got here out of PVC pipe is not necessary. Originally I set it up hoping that I'd be able to adjust the distance uh, from the flask with these transducers that are inside this pipe here, or both pipes. But um, trying that, I found that it is definitely necessary for these transducers to be as close as possible. Touching is the best result. Um, so all I ended up doing was scooting them as close as possible and hot gluing it to the flask like I had it set up in the last video. Um, I'm going to change it again and instead of having that transducer which is about that big that holds this ceramic element um, I'm just going to use the ceramic element by itself and all this stuff was purchased on eBay 100 milliliter flask, rubber stoppers and these uh, ceramic elements for the transducers um, what I'd like to do is I have that 3 inch glass tube um, and I'd like to use that as my flask and mount these on either end of the tube um, and have some kind of flexible uh, thin plastic where I could uh, find, hopefully fine-tune it. And that was a tip from a friend. Um, we'll see how that works out. And these, this is the frequency I was using that had the best results. It was one microsecond. I know that that's not <laughs> pointing at exactly the right sec section. Um, but you can see that's the next spot. So one microsecond on both. And then this was the fine tuning. Um, but I had results in different spots. Had some results here and then in a range right around in there. So all I can say is mess with the frequencies. Um, I did try glycerin and I had better results with just using the distilled water by itself and as far as the degassing goes um, <laughs> I'll show you in a second uh, with the results I'm getting but I had the best results with undegassed uh, distilled water and what I did was I took 10 milliliters of air out of it and I've read that um, five atmosphere I'm sorry negative five atmospheres is best but um, there's not much air there and I'm wondering if I was really close to negative five atmospheres with that 10 milliliters of air removed uh, but anyway that's that's what I had for the best results now as far as some sonal luminescence is concerned there's multi-bubble and single bubble sonoluminescence. This is very similar to what I'm seeing as far as the color goes and the fanning and uh, configuration of the bubbles in the cavitation that I'm seeing. So I wanted you to be able to see that clearly. These are not my results. This is on a Google search. This is very similar to what I'm seeing in the flask. These pictures are just better than the ones I have, so I wanted to show them to you. So that's what I'm seeing. All right, and they're just that color. <laughs> um, this is the goal: single bubble sonar luminescence, and hopefully I achieve that someday. I'm not there yet. I'm not claiming that I am. Um, here's the results that I have to show you. Now for the longest time, this was all I was able to capture on film. This is a 30 second exposure and that little blip right there, that little tiny fan of light, that's all I was able to capture on film um, with the 30 second exposure. Here's another 30 second, zoom in a bit, you can see one dot here, one dot there, I thought yeah. One more dot over here. But 
then, through the power of YouTube, I was able to get my camera to do longer exposures. And you can see with two minutes, more light is captured on film. And you got these blurs of cavitation or uh, of sonar luminescence. And this is the grand finale. <laughs> This is a five minute exposure, and you can see uh, I captured a lot more of the trails on film. So what's going on here is, um, it doesn't look like this, this isn't what I see, but during that five minutes that uh, light producing sonar luminescence has traveled, um, making these lines and streaks across the film. Anyway. I'm really excited that I have some results to show you, and uh, hope you liked them. Um, yeah, all I can do is say, uh, get on eBay, the stuff's cheap, um, you can get your whole setup for, goodness, probably 20 bucks, and I would say just do some experimenting. Uh, mess with those frequencies, and see what you get. Um, once I get my new setup, I'll put together and tested. If I get any new results that are worth showing, I will uh, post them and show you guys what's happening. All right, any comments, go ahead and leave them and uh, suggestions and all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you later. Take care.